In the dbase folder, you'll find the file called db underscore cms dot sql. If you double click this file, you'll see that this file actually contains the structure, the sql statement uh, with the structure of our database. What we are going to do now is we are going to create a new database and import this file with the entire structure of our database for this website. So if we go to the WAMP server icon, click on this and select phpMyAdmin. Type in your username and password. And on the first screen, within the create new database field, type in DB CMS and hit the create button. This way we've created a new database. Uh, what we are going to do now is we are going to import uh, the file which I've initially showed you. So click on import tab and now on the browse go to the uh, root folder of our website to the dbase folder, select db underscore cms.sql file and click open. Now click go and the structure of our database has been successfully imported as you can see. You can now close the browser. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing, we will create a connection to our database. Open the index.php file and within a survey behavior uh, sorry, within the databases panel, click on a plus sign and choose MySQL connection. Give our connection the name of condb, or you can actually choose absolutely anything you want. Uh, now, MySQL server, we will uh, type localhost, username root, password for your uh, database, and click on select to select the database you'd like to connect to. Uh, db under C underscore CMS is our new database. So select this one and click OK button. Now you can just click on test button if you want to check whether the connection has been made successfully. And OK button again. You can now see within the databases panel that our connection uh, has been successfully created and you can see all of the tables plus column names of each table. So that's uh, that's it in this video. In the next video we will create uh, we'll start creating a login page.